what we are seeing now is the worst humanitarian crisis in the world today. If you look at the numbers that we're talking about, we're talking about children starving. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of people not getting food. We're talking about millions of people displaced. And what's the world doing about it? We've become inured to this. You know, we've watched wars in Afghanistan, Iraq, we've seen Libya, Syria, and the world seems to have, and that for me is a frightening thought, that we've lost our sense of moral outrage when we see this happening to children, to civilians. The major governments seem to have a much higher threshold for, for pain and suffering than in other countries than maybe 10 years ago. You know, it's hard in today's climate to go directly to the governments in the rest of the world and say, let's do something about it. Most of them have, have either domestic concerns or other worries of their own. We're in a very strange sort of situation where we're between world orders, as it were. And so I think the thing to do is to actually make sure that we can arouse public opinion. And I'm very glad that Crisis Group has actually taken it up very seriously and has done a great deal, A, to bring the facts out. All the Yemeni parties are quite happy to talk to ICG, to somebody neutral like that. They're much more nervous talking to any governmental mechanism, whether it's an international organization. Even the UN has tried very hard with an envoy. And I think it's time that we looked at whether there's enough agreement on some broad, loose structures within which we can start moving towards peace.